So what are your plans moving forward? As you look ahead, um, is it your goal to get back to 2019 as soon as possible? No. What is, what is ahead of you? What are your plans moving forward for yourself first and, and then also for the ministry? For, the ministry? for me, um, I was taught a long time ago, never look back because you cannot fix what has already been done. The only thing you can do is take that lesson and prepare for what is next to come. So I don't want to go back to 2019, um, but I do want to be better than I was going from 2019 into 2020. So I have to literally evaluate Kia so that I can make sure that I am not complacent in the areas that I am comfortable in and I am I am okay saying I'm not okay in this area. You know, I fall short in this area or um, being vulnerable to someone who is willing to help me spiritually. I'm not saying go tell everybody like, hey, I'm falling short now. Cause you know, you'll have some people that's like, okay, come on, let's go fall short together. <laughs> so, but you wanna find people that are gonna help you move past that in a healthy way. You know, you don't want to be around like-minded people in bad situations. So you're kind of, uh, the veil's been lifted for you not only in your own life, but in the people around you. Yes. And so then let's talk about the ministry. What are, what are you going to do for those ladies in the church to try to help them get the most out of 2020 that they can? For beginners, um, I am going to be a beacon of positivity. No matter what the situation is, no matter how bad it looks, I will find the good in it because darkness and light cannot live in the same vessel. So if I'm going to be the light, be the light. My promise to our ministry right now is that we will hold on to positivity by any means necessary <laughs> so that... Um, when we are in the midst of whatever storm may be the next one coming, we'll be able to hold the positive umbrella over us while we walk through the storm. Not to mention, if we're serving a good king, hmm. we should be able to trust that he's up to something good. Well, you know what? That's a whole nother story. Trust. You know, a lot of times I learned in 2020, I didn't trust God the way I thought I did. I learned that, and I feel it is the same for a lot of people in our ministry. We say we trust him with our mouth, but our actions show that every time we have to bear it all and put it at his feet and walk away, we can give it to him, but we always go back and pick up a little piece of it to try to mm. fix it. Mm. And so we have to learn to trust. And it starts with reading and getting to know who he is for yourself.